Okay. Um, well, if, if you go through the choices, you will find that provided, what's the difference? Can you, can you, can you see a difference provided between- Provided is a finite. Yes, that's a normal verb. Yes, while having provided to provide and providing is non-finite. Non-finite. To provide is a non-finite mm -hmm. verb. Yeah, not verbs. Providing yes. non e Non-finite. Non-finite. They are not verbs. But when I, when I, when I go there, okay, um, this is an introductory phrase. Where is the subject about? Yani a member of the Cherokee nation. That's an introductory phrase. Comma. And after the comma, there should be a subject. subject and a verb. Very good. Do you have a subject and a verb? Mary Golda Rose is yes. a subject. Verb? Is, is a verb. Yes. And we have a verb phrase here. Okay. Very good. But here we have a... Which? Ah. Ah. Which? In the relative clauses... Relative clauses have their own subjects and verbs, and they need finite verbs. Yani, that, uh, bravo. Yani, after that, who, whom, whose, which, when, where. Those relative clauses should have finite what Verb. verbs. But yeah, Mister, we have here a finite verb. Yes, this is a finite verb for the sentence itself, for 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 Mary. But which introduces a relative clause? With relative clause liha, its own finite verb. Okay, so after those relative pronouns, make sure there is a finite verb. Yes, subject must have a finite verb. Also, the relative pronouns must have a finite verb. That's why the, the only finite verb will be what? Yanur. Provided. Thank you so much. Will be provided. Thank you. You're most welcome.